You throw down my kill, Mr. Sana. Oh God, you kill it. You kill my kill. All right, so this morning, Mr. Sana and Donny fixing up some situations for us. Right? <laughs> right. McKeel coming nice. I had a pick, eh? We had a pick that today. Yeah, the right. well, bring the side for you to, to plant one time. Listen, I want you to show me something. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, careful, your hand get damaged, right? Mm -hmm. But what it is you put here? <laughs> well, I had some very poor, you can't even call it soy, mm -hmm. dirt. Yeah. So what I did? I bought some cow manure, I bought some compost, mm -hmm. I bought something called perlite, which is to make the soil light and mm -hmm. trainable, and some limestone. All right. Which is neutralize the acidity in the soil. Okay. So we're supposed to have a real good mixture here when we wet, proper drainage. Okay, and it wouldn't retain too much water. No. <laughs> so I'm going to bring the side plants here. Yeah, we're splitting them because. Right. How much you put in in each cake? Two. Two, you mad? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. One, two, no, two, three. One, two, three. What, three across? Yeah, uh, yeah. Like no, ask now. Ask Yeah, feel that gonna be better? Three across? Yeah. yeah. So you have to reconfigure. Mm, how much you buy? This buy portion. 12. I buy 12. But as, you, real side as, day, you, as you see, we could keep splitting them. That's a real side day. And you buy shot of any plant too? Yeah. Bandanya. How close? Here? Yeah? Yeah. So this is the second tree. Yeah. <laughs> right. This I ain't gonna be leaving this here though. I want the bandana yeah. to get some shade. Shade, yeah, yeah, yeah. You want the bandana to get shade. Mm -hmm. We are um, wasting any part of the um, thing, you know. Mm. Much bandana you buy? Four? That's four. But I will get more. Mm. What? I didn't, I, I didn't know how much work I will accomplish So I didn't want to buy Check, check that in the middle there, yes? Right It's <laughs> one side plant That is the middle here He get his own container You can see action it He's going to fill up all here with it Alright Right yeah, yeah. Um. What else are you going to plant? Yeah. I, I go in and stand up in the in the next keg and see if I could grow all of it. Oh, he going yeah. and grow. All right then. Find your hiding. What you say? When you plant plants, you gotta make sure and water them in well so the soil will settle around the roots. And after that, you wait until the soil kind of dry out before you start the wetting again. You could do all the mist and anything. So you come in to wet it? I come in, man.
you see how nice the water draining away quickly mm -hmm. that's a good sign watch mm -hmm. right i mean they say chances are over wetted okay. and the roots becoming waterlogged will be significantly reduced yes which is what end up happening with these tomato plants here this soil too heavy right Tomatoes was growing good. Don't you break it? Yes, you break the second plant, and it was flowers, you know. Oh gosh, Mr. Donny, that is second. My only two tomato plant, and you break my two tomato plant. I get despondent. Look at me, look at me, look at me. We can make side bread and thing when these things are the um, yield boy. Bread? Side bread. I used to say all that. <laughs> you listen to that? Yeah. <laughs> I that. You want us to let me yeah, transplant those transplant, yeah. into, into yeah, yeah, that? Yeah, 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 yeah. And improve yeah. back that soil? Yeah, what I could what root. I could do is trim it yeah. and get back the plants to plant. Well, yeah, 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 so yeah, I will yeah, cut yeah, off yeah. the top and blend it up in my season yeah, and yeah, get the plant. Simple, simple. Right? Yeah. Yeah, you are gonna say, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. You see how heavy? See how heavy the soil is here? Mm hmm. We're going to improve that, right? And bring gloves for you, you know, son. I wear the gloves going. And you'll forgive me, you know. I put on the gloves to play bubbly. And after that, I don't know where I rest the gloves, but I'll find it. Don't worry yourself. <laughs> Alright, this is compost. This is what you could make home too, if you have the <laughs> But really, trust me. It almost ain't worth it. Nah, don't say that, man. If you set up yourself proper and you're consistent with it, you'll get compost. What else you add into this? Alright. Well, we're going to put some perlite. You see how light the soil is starting to get? Mm -hmm. Limestone. Mm -hmm. This do burn plants, right? So you just kind of do a little average, like if you're putting baking powder, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> That's to neutralize the soil. It's called gobar. What's that? Gobar. Gobar? Gobar. Kountum. People will tell you, you know, Mr. Sana, you're touching up everything with your bare hands, you know. People will tell you, you right. will, you will, arm. You will get buff up. The pull light, you could have it or What is the pull light? Well, I guess it's something looking like pearls, right? Oh, oh this is it! Right. Oh. This is to help aerate the soil mm -hmm. and make it even lighter. Wow. Right? So if it had put thing like bulb and thing in it, it would not get light. Mr. <laughs> 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 Sama. They're good, they're good, they're good. Light bulb do work in this situation. It can't even be considered a bright idea. Mm. See how light the soil gets here now? Yeah, boy. And you're falling back the container. Yes. Just, I'm gonna bring it here for you. And you're ready. We're gonna plant in it. Well, it there. We have nothing else I need to plant right now. So I'm gonna buy some more plants. All right then. We're going now to do it. You want to transplant the parsley? Well, bring the parsley. Like yeah. The parsley in this. Yeah, transplant the parsley for me. All right. Once again. Gently, you see, gently. You see what we're doing here, right? Yeah. Too heavy. In the fan, if you notice, you hardly see any white roots here. Mm -hmm. Right. Waterlogged situation. So the car grow. Mm -mm, well, if you can grow roots. Car grow. So, 
we replanting new life that could bust into a kind of reluctant because of the rooting system all right there's a cluster yeah all right just put the day you'll get better results and they got scorched because of the excessive heat eh well they have been getting a lot of water right but because of the soil even though it gained water what end up happening now is that the roots rotten so sometimes you're watering your plants and you're seeing but wait now boy how come a plant looking like it drying up it's not that it's the roots rotten right the poor poor she want to fix the poor poor i'm feeling sorry for the poor 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 she's feeling sorry for the poor 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 <laughs> Slowly hey, no careful it fall long. No, 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 you have to do that. No careful the top fall long and break off. Is you who did put that in that pot, you know? Well, I believe had some other kind of plant that require that kind of soil. Don't throw it too much, too much and too much of it. Put back your pop or for you. I'm talking about pepper tree. Put back it. Put back my pop one up. Right, I'm top him up there a little bit deep for me. Top him back up for me. Yeah, they get a pop, you know. <clears throat> Anybody who doesn't have a pop or plant, see if all they can get one because the leaves are very medicinal. You're gonna need it in time to come. What's next? What's next? We gotta get some more soil. I'm full of them other kegs. It has some good soil across there, you know. Well, I have an easier bag of soil down with my sister. Uh huh, but. Because that soil they had like banga dot. Okay. Today, and you will not believe the good breeze that blow through Cora and enter my home. Two subscribers. Hi. <laughs> Tell them your yes, name. Yes. I'm Sabi Maharaj from Canada. I get this. From Sammy Canada and also. Curtis. <laughs> and let me tell all you now, they bring such a wonderful vibe to my home today. Yeah. You know, Vidya, Vidya, my darling sister Vidya, you know these people? <laughs> uh, she I know her for sure. <laughs> and look at Sana, we're great. <laughs> She's mine now, eh? <laughs> yes, yeah, we told yeah, we told yeah, we, Nice, nice, nice. We're so happy to have all you. I'm so happy to stop by. Yeah, yeah, of yeah. One of yeah. the highlights for me. Well, you're always welcome here. <laughs> Thank you yes, very, next very much. Next <laughs> time, when you come, we go cook and Vidya will come and she yes. will cook too. Yes, definitely. I hope so, Vidya. <laughs> <laughs> so I have this. You want to know what this is for? This is to cover my whole face. While well, I tape it, it's an experiment. So see if I could make a video. Nah, 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 joking. Here we're going on, right? Today is a nice sunny day. And I just home. The children went to school. It's Monday. First day of school, right? So I don't know when I'm putting out this video, right? Um, first day of school. They went off real good, real happy, Sydney and Sadie. But um Miss Margaret's school opening tomorrow. <laughs> so she home today. But I have some things that I want to do. Just some kitchen things, just uh, you know, make the week run smooth. So um that's the YBR. And uh, I'm heading to the sour sub tree because i want to make some sauce up tea right with the leaves let me show you right so this is my sour sub tree so long i intended to give my sour sub tree some tlc oh gosh i'm feeling bad right and um i should probably start by getting rid of that termite's nest i had to be careful how i'm going on here because it's very very dry and the rocks are loose so you gotta go down sideways here you can't go down like with your feet facing forward but you see the, even the shadow any struggling to grow and all of that will change when your um see rainy season start all well, you know what that yellow flower is there pooies right so if it is that you're coming up quora along the way when you look at the mountains you'll just see that the green 
and brown hills are dotted with yellow in between and that's the pui trees that you're seeing right all right i'm gonna if i could pick some of these leaves i don't want to put that on the fold there and i'll pick just like maybe about 20 leaves just about 20. I'll try to pick like the older ones instead of the fresh new ones that now starting to grow. Right? This is this is a close-up of a sour sub leaf. Yeah, so we have we leaf here. And I will put I will put some fever grass in there too. And a couple bay leaves. Make some nice bush tea. There's a poopy tree across there too. See? So pretty. Something about the yellow spring, you know, from the green with the blue and white in the backdrop. It's amazing. And then we have the coconut branch dancing in the foreground. Yeah, man. It's a beautiful day. Alright, so this is cut it from underneath, right? Hey, Lisa. Hi. How are you going? You good? Yes, you go with this fever grass now, right? Mm -hmm. Please. If you don't mind. I had trimmed it the other day, you know. Alright, I think that's enough there, Mr. Sana. Watch. Fever grass. And so what's up? What's going on? Who's sick? Nobody's sick. You see you? You look like you go going to drink. Um, bush tea when you know how to get sick. You gotta drink it from all now. Right. Yeah. Strength and power. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm so kind of shy. I'm so kind of ashamed to show you guys my bay leaf tree. But I'll do it nevertheless. Look. Poor guys struggling, struggling. There are so many factors working against this poor bay leaf tree. And all the other trees in my yard, the excessive heat. Um, sometimes we ain't getting water, we ain't getting any rain. And then there's a batak problem. Right, so I just want two bay leaves. We put that end down to the very last to steep because it's very, very potent. Right, so that's my, um, that's my bush tea situation. And Mr. Sana have Suri real working hard. Oh, oh, why are they have my child working so hard? Oh gosh, why oh, they had this child working so hard before she go to school? Ahina, just in case, because there's plenty of water in the cloth now, so we put floaters on her so she wouldn't drown. Oh, oh gosh, you Mr. know Sarah. how while she doing that, we beat and she too. Oh gosh, yeah, she <laughs> better wash the cloth. <laughs> right. Ah. <laughs> Right, so let me go and put this to um to draw. Right, you're seeing brown and green. I know you're seeing brown and green. Right, green is for your spleen, and brown is for your lungs. Stepping inside, I want to show all you some situations. I want to show all you some situations. All right, look at what's happening here. I'm sure you've already guessed it. I'm going to give you all a good look. We have some scythe, celery, bandania or shadow benny, right? Um, parsley, pimentos, garlic, onions, all right? Everything here I got from Auntie Baby in her garden, except the shadow benny and the garlic and onion. But Auntie, ba Auntie Georgie, oh gosh, I call any woman Auntie Baby. Auntie Georgiana, she grows her own seasonings, right? So, scythe, celery, parsley, pimento. Also, another situation. Also grown by Auntie Baby are these peppers. We have pimento peppers, normal scotch bonnet peppers, and cayenne peppers, right? Auntie Baby grow all these peppers, you know. If I tell you something though, the pimento peppers have a little heat, right? And 
a nice flavor also so if I rotate this plate maybe you'll be able to guess also what's going on right you guess yet all right this is going to be my green seasoning blend that I'm gonna use for the rest of the week and this is gonna be my pepper sauce blend right and remember I, I have five burners at my disposal now right so I'm gonna be boiling some piwa right I know somebody tell me they eat piwa as a child until they threw up that's how much they love piwa watch me I love piwa the same way um, so we'll put that to boil and auntie baby also grew these some moko right and they're not too firm I'm um, sorry they're not too ripe they're still a bit firm so I'm gonna boil that to put on the side of some lamb guess what I'm going to do with this lamb I went and curry stew this lamb with basmati rice right so we're eating curry stew lamb that is going to be seasoned with this green seasoning with this pepper sauce on the side before we eat it we're using the piwa as an appetizer and we're having this on the side of the lamb just a normal day doing one or two things the first thing I will do is start my bush tea and piwa yeah. I'll just give everything a rinse you know I'll rinse it a few times and then I'll put it to steep but the bay leaves which are these these more brownish looking leaves these go in and last right yeah man bush tea before I put anything on my stomach I'll put the bush tea so we'll just take them off of the stems that this is what a piwa looks like okay I'll probably rinse them about three times. Mm hmm. You want this one on um, a rapid boil? Yes, I. And then we add some salt. Okay. I, I was not going to put salt in my piwa, you know, but I hear you call me. Yes, your congratulations on your 7,000 subscribers. Boy Lance, thanks very much. Yes, and for that wonderful video they love us. Thank you. You're welcome. Somebody yes. tell me I must call your mom and dad or Mr. and Mrs. But Lance. Tell her, tell that person I'll be cool with just Lance and Louis. But we love you so much. Yes. And you look so nice next to the crown of thorn flowers. Yes, boy. With the mountains behind I your like head. The flowers, not the thorns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, everything good? Yeah, so far so good. Yeah. Uh, Alright so then. Again? Yeah, thanks, eh? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, man. Alright, so this is three and a half pounds of piwa. And you know, I could never average how much salt to put. So I put in like this amount. Which is like uh two tablespoons and a little extra. Right? I guess you can put as much as you like, as little as you like, but I, I can't, I just can't really advise you as to how much salt to put for you. So, you see what's going to happen here? We're going to have an earring bone pepper sauce, pure earring bone pepper sauce, I'm going to have my green seasoning, right? And my lamb has already been cut up and washed. I will curry stew that, I'm going to season it, and... I throw in some aloo and some peas because let me tell you something, right? Lamb is something, it's, it's, it's expensive. It's an expensive piece of meat here in Trinidad and we don't buy lamb, lamb often. But it is also something that is full of flavor. And when something is full of flavor, that's a plus because you could use that to your advantage. Things like peas can be used to stretch the dish. You could also use like rubber band and elastic if you wish right also 
um, the aloe. The aloe is going to act as a sponge and it's going to soak up all that lamb <sighs> gaminess flavor. <laughs> Boy, I was dribbling. I promised myself I wasn't going to dribble, you know. But anyway, the aloe or the potatoes, they will soak up all that lamb flavor. So even when you bite into a piece of that potato, it's as if you're biting into a piece of lamb. Just carry your mind there. By the aloo, the taste of lamb is lamb. Now watch what's going on with the stove. Complete situation. Complete situation. I have my moko boiling. And I have my basmati rice. It's like, I think it's halfway cooked here. I have my um, piwa. I turned on the stove, but my piwa was boiling rapidly. And I have my bushti simmering. And ooh, that's a hot pot. Always be careful. <laughs> Always be careful. Right? So you see my tea is gently simmering. I do I don't want a rapid boil. I just want the water to be hot enough or warm enough to slowly pull out all the nutrients and the flavor and all the medicinal value from that. And we're just gonna cover him. See how low the flame is? Very, very low. Looks like it's barely there. Yeah? Pushti piwa. Moko. Yeah, I don't watch these fellas, eh? otherwise they just get so very, very quickly. Then I just given them like literally two minutes again and I'll pull them out and peel them up and the carryover heat is gonna continue to cook them. We'll test the rice. But we need to blend up some things. So I'll blend up my seasonings first. Then I'll use my seasonings to season my lamb. Then I'll make my pepper sauce because if I blend this first and then I blend this, the seasoning is going to become a bit spicy. A little too spicy for the kids. So, there we go. Mm hmm Oh gosh, but first, let me give all you one nice close-up of Auntie Georgie's peppers. Man. And Auntie Georgie's seasoning and thing. Watch. Auntie Georgie's seasoning just make me want to say seasonings greetings. Don't mind the little splash, eh? That's supposed to happen, and Ella's doing this thing one-handed. That is a green seasoning day, family. Family! Seasoning! Sneezings! From Irene Boy! Now, I'm gonna do the pepper sauce, right? Um. I'll just chop everything up and put it in the blender. I'm not even gonna wash out the blender because that's flavor right there. And then we're gonna be putting some salt and some mustard in that pepper sauce. Oh gosh, somebody, somebody stop me. So, um, right, the next step, all of that gonna be chopped up and put inside there and blended. I should have worn a gloves. I should have worn a gloves. Oh boy. I so want to do thing fancy and show off for all yeah. I so want to do fancy thing and show off for all yeah. I should have be chopping these up on a, a um a chopping board. Shut up any goes in there. Garlic, whoops, cayenne went in all day, yes. Right, so I just give it all a sneak peek 
of the nice hot basmati rice and moko freshly boiled still hot and the piwa steaming look at that nice situation going on y'all mm -mm -mm. now the piwa i just take it out of the bowl to show you what it, it looks like i'm gonna put this back in the salted water ideally i'm gonna put this back in the any salted water it's a good idea to lay a piwa set in the salt water to soak up that salt flavor right so it's gonna sit in the salt water to soak up that salt flavor say that five times fast all right so now for our pepper sauce throw in some vinegar like about a quarter of the way up right which is remain out the bottle you want to put a considerable amount of salt because if you want a pepper sauce to taste nice, you have to put enough salt, right? The salt gives everything that kick, punch, and flavor. Mm. And for me, a little bit of mustard, right? Now, everybody's pepper sauce recipe is different. I'm just showing you how I do mine. And then we blend. We'll start with a pulse. Just to break everything down. All right, and then we let him go. Have bottles to pour it out in after, but I just wanted to show you all. Now you're doing this very, very slowly and very gently because you don't want this to splash up in your eye. Ay, ay, ay. Pepper sauce and seasoning. Whew. I have to be careful to move this away because next thing I season my lamb with pepper sauce instead of green seasoning. They, well, I mean, I would have I would made the best out of it. Eh? Right, and see all of that day. All of that is wasting. We're going to scrape out that. So we take a clean, dry plastic spoon. And we take a little, like a little, 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 little touch just to taste it. That pepper sauce is boss. I like to tell you, not just because Alice make it and I put all them things and thing in it. Mm -mm. That pepper sauce is boss. Now, <clears throat> Now you hurry up and cook that lamb. All right, I'm not draining off that excess water, right? Because all of that's gonna help fry it on your lamb. I add in two maggie cubes in there. Black pepper, not too much. Just a little bit of salt because the maggie, the maggie cubes already have salt. Just a little touch. Something also that has some salt content that I add in is um, a little bit of oyster sauce. This is dried oregano in this bottle. See? So just like about a pinch of oregano. See that amount? Because it's dried, so it's going to be the flavor has been intensified. Focus. Our next, a good helping of the freshly blended green seasoning mix. And some curry powder. I'm not using duck and goat. I'm using straight yellow curry. Right? Madras curry. This is this is the brand I'm using. I don't know if y'all could see that, right? And it's gonna turn them up and let them kosome for about a little half an hour and then we will chunky the pot. Yes. I wish I could have smelled this. Hmm, boy, sometimes Ellis tortures herself. Somebody was asking me, why do I refer to myself in the third person? Man, are they serious? They're more serious business to study like this lamb. 
Oh, add in a little bit of saffron powder too. Right. Remember, it was curry stew. So my lamb has been soaking up all those flavors for the past half hour. And now we're just caramelizing um, the sugar for the stew part of the dish. Right, you all would have seen Mr. Asana in a previous video um, caramelizing or what we just say, brung in the sugar in the pilau video some time ago. Mm -hmm. Progressing nicely, very nicely. It has to become a bit more uh, amber color than this. Hope until you all know how to stew. But for those who don't know, I'm going to show you. You see how it's starting to bubble up? Mm -hmm. Just a little bit again. This could happen real quick when it reaches this point. Eh? Right. Show any meat. Doing this with one hand. Ready? Go. Yes. Mm. And Mr. Sana they say don't turn it up. But he not here right now. I go in and turn my pot. Oh yeah, yo. Wow. I'm not gonna mislead all you. I'm not gonna lie. This smelling boss. So, we're gonna leave him to fry up, fry up or bouge down, as we like to say. And gradually, we'll keep adding some warm water bit by bit until it's sort of like three quarter way cooked. And then we'll throw in the potatoes. Mm. Okay, so just giving you all an update. You see that sticky situation at the bottom there? Yeah. That is the sticky situation I want. See that? Mm. All of that there. Yep, yep, yep. That is what we're looking for. Because then that would mean that the excess water that was in the bowl would have dried down right properly killing off any bacteria that's one secondly the caramelization process actually develops and intensifies the flavors of everything right and we want that to happen because lamb has um a high fat content so by you know letting it fry down like this we allowing the natural fats of the lamb to render and come out and create this nice caramelization thing right that nice caramelization situation also remember we put raw curry inside here yeah, and this bringing it to this point would ensure that the curry is cooked as well so what we simply do is just add some hot water if you add cold water to this pot at this point, it will turn to rubber. So you see immediately, it's starting to bubble. Right. I'll just do this like maybe two more times. So, my ducklings reach home. Hi girls. Hi. Where are you going? I can't see all you. Hello. Hello, city. Hello. How was school? Hello, city. Yeah. How was school? How was all your first day back out? It was noisy. Yes, she is correct. Now you know how I feel. So everything went well? Yep. Yes. And I got my picture taken. A, a passport size picture and thing. <laughs> Real good. So many Sydney. <laughs> all you get. So many Sydneys. It's too much for my brains to process. Error. 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 <laughs> just, if all you're hungry, just not. Just wait out like a. 15 minutes again and another get food. Okay. Bye. I miss all you. Bye. All you ain't giving no bar.
I need to buy my head. Ba! Ba! See, Mom. Uh. Here's a memory. Oh, thank you. I thought you meant for me to kiss it in your hand, yes? Ba! 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 You know what I'm cooking? Ba! Lamb! <laughs> so, now I add in my potato pieces, my aloo, and my peas. And I will turn the heat down a bit and let everything just simmer. I'll get a cover too. Let everything simmer in the sauce, let it thicken up, let everything cook up nice. And then we'll have we lamb. Let's see what's going on. Ooh, yes, man. That is precisely what we're looking for, right? So you see the sauce is kind of thick but not too thick and let me show you the alu is melted and cooked nice and tender you gonna cut the next piece to show all you properly all right with the edge of the spoon no resistance right so what I'm doing now is I'm going to add a little bit of coconut milk I'll give it a food of five minutes to simmer and whoo get a little thick I want the sauce a little thicker than this so what I could do seeing that everything is cooked to make the sauce thick I could take a piece of this potato and mash it up so that the um, mashed potatoes will thicken Thicken the sauce. Hey, wait a minute. I catch you. Uh, this was to make sure if it didn't boil properly, this crunch. So I want to make sure. Yes, man. So I turn off the stove, right? I uh, have it like this consistency because what is going to happen is that now that this, the, the fire is turned off, it's going to continue to thicken on its own as it cools down. So that's why I left it kind of runny, right? And I'll just leave it for a few minutes before I start to dish out some food. And if at the end of it all, your wares rack ends up looking like this, it's because, you know, something serious happened in your kitchen. A serious situation. So, my pepper sauce, my green seasoning, my piwa, my boiled piwa already and waiting, my boiled moko, waiting there to soak up some curry, my basmati rice as well, nice and hot, and my stew curry lamb with potatoes and peas and some bonatos with a little green salad. That's the only green salad I had, right? So, right man, I wonder all who are ready to eat. I only hear one voice. Oh gosh, goodness gracious me. What wrong with Ellis? I forget to show all ya. My bush tea, waiting day. Nice and warm. Oh gosh, it smells so good. Now, my recommendation would be to not add sugar. I would sip it just as is. Uh, pour a nice full cup for myself and sit down and sip it. Because I just, I love the flavors that in the tea. I love the sauce up leaves, the um, fever grass, as well as the bay leaf. However, if it is that, you know, you want to be a little healthy, you can add a little honey, yes. Some of you all, yes, if you want to drink it and add a little sugar, just be very, very moderate with it. And uh, for me to get the kids to drink that, I'm going to add a little bit of honey. Again, um, get a nice bottle of honey from Uncle Frank and Auntie Ali next door, right? Look at this now. See if I can hold it up. Hold it up to the light. Ooh, yeah. That's some good honey. Right? So I put a little bit of honey. And it's kids. 
I still want them to get some of the benefits. I'll add a little milk in that for them. They'll drink that before bedtime. But it isn't good. It is Thumbs up? Yes. But if you get so then tomorrow we'll drink. Yeah, if you get something tomorrow, right? Yes, I'm glad all you like it. I love all you. It's time for the rotator plate segment. All right, look, we airing pepper sauce day. Peppers planted, reaped by Auntie Baby. And Auntie Baby also grew these tomatoes as well as, well, my green salad there. And the moco that I have. And my lamb with my aloo and peas and basmati rice. Now, wait, don't go away. I find my camera. I want to focus, boy. I have my piwa and my bush tea one side. And yes, don't worry about them thing floating. That is how bush tea is supposed to be sometimes. The thing is, I didn't strain mine. Right? I didn't strain mine. But that's okay. We're drinking it just so. I uh, just wanted to say a shout out to a very interesting and wonderful lady I spoke to this morning, Susie Chang. She called me this morning and, and she was a real delight to speak to. So I was saying, hey, Susie. And the first thing I want to do is taste my piwa, right? Now you can peel it like a mango, right? Peel all your skin and thing. Like that. To get to the meat inside. The salt will penetrate into this piwa. This particular piwa has a sweetness to it. And here's what I'm going to do, right? I'm going to dip my piwa in the pepper sauce right there. Take a taste. Sometimes people eat the pure with the skin as well. That pepper sauce is boss. I told you already. That pepper sauce is boss. If you like bush tea, you'd appreciate this cup. Taking a piece of the lamb, some potato peas sauce, and some of that pepper sauce situation. Good. So we're gonna taste some now with the um with the moko, right? Mm, 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 mm. That moko behaving just like ripe plantain, you know. That boiled ripe moko behaving just like boiled ripe plantain. You know when you're eating food like this, there are so many different combinations. You just want to dip everything everywhere. And you want to taste one thing with another thing. And then you want to taste one thing by itself. That's what's going on with Ellis. Mmm. Auntie Georgie, your hand real good girl. Mmm. I love you. Bye. And by the way, FYI, remember I was telling you that the aloo would have soaked in that lamb flavor? I was correct. This aloo tastes like lamb. Yep. Cheers. I really love all you. I love, 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 love all you. Somebody behind me in a cupboard. Suri? Yeah. What you doing? Yeah. Right. Hiya, boy. Who's this here, boy? Hey, hey. Cheesecake. My fridge. What well, is my cheesecake now? 